This image has been going viral on social media. Many are taking to Twitter and Instagram thanking these young women for saving the Electoral College votes during the U.S. Capitol breach. One of those women pictured is an Emory student. But as Paolo Soro explains, what you may be seeing on social media isn't exactly what happened. Take a look. Wednesday's chaos and violence captured in these images as rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol. Five people died, dozens of officers were injured, and nearly 100 people have been arrested. But this photo, staffers carrying a box of Electoral College votes, paints another story. It went viral after it was shared by best-selling author Glennon Doyle on Instagram, describing it as heroic. Doyle and many others on social media thought the picture was taken during the Capitol breach, writing that the women, quote, had the presence of mind and courage to protect, keep safe, and transport the electoral votes before fleeing the Senate. But here's what actually happened during and after the photograph was taken, according to sources who were there. The image was taken around 1 o'clock prior to the breach. It shows two chamber assistants. The one on the right is a sophomore at Emory University and the girl on the left a Northwestern student. Both of them were taking the votes from the Senate chamber to the House chamber for them to be certified. They returned to the Senate chamber where about an hour later they had to shelter in place as rioters started to pour in. The House will be in order. The Emory student telling the Washingtonian Quote, we were definitely anticipating the crowd getting a lot bigger, but we didn't see any of the violence or destruction coming. I don't think anyone was expecting it to go that far. Within a matter of minutes, they had broken down the barricades and they were inside. I'm told they were on lockdown for five hours and later went back into the House chamber to continue the certification of votes at 8 o'clock that night. The Emory student telling the newspaper she felt it was the best message they could have sent to the people trying to intimidate them out of doing it.